Hello, my name is Minnie Antoine and this is for course BA499AO. My research topic will be on brain drain. The purpose of this study is to research brain drain effects on countries. I will conduct a qualitative research by gathering information through secondary data in order to identify if countries losing their highly skilled individuals can affect their native land. Introduction. The purpose of this research paper is to explain how brain drain does affect countries. Why does brain drain affect countries? And lastly, how does brain drain affect developed versus undeveloped countries? In due course, this paper will explore the effects of brain drain in countries. Review of literature. Brain drain defined. For the purpose of this paper, while we'll agree with Ben DeCure and Rappaport definition of brain drain. Brain drain is described as the international switch of resource in the form of human capital, and which applies to the immigration of the educated people from developing countries to developed countries. And add the cure, host, and more for definition of international immigration of skilled workers. Brain drain in developing countries. The DeCure Morfork 2006 studies show the small countries have the highest immigration rate. Small islands with developing economies have the least a population of 1.3 million with an average immigration rate of 13.8%. When compared to large developing countries, the population is more than 40 million. There were more than 116.5 million trained workers existing in these 127 developing countries. Brain drain impact on economics. Brain drain can impact the economy through labor markets and affect both sectors. Wages through emulation and leapfrogging. Also expected wages through the actual foreign wages and probability of immigration. The average school gap shows that cuts with national income. Brain drain converted into brain gain. Brain drain isn't always a bad thing. O'Lear stated brain drain is like the flip side of brain gain. This is when the educated foreigners come into the workforce of another country and perform skilled jobs. That country is said to have experienced a brain gain. There are numerous benefits of brain drain, which is the flip side of brain gain. Brain drain and education. Numerous developing countries have devoted nearly 1% of native products to train universities, institute for a higher learning and other methods of technical training. When it comes to immigration, the half of a million trained people are important parts of these investment that ends up a waste of investment. Methodology, research questions. This study looks to research the following questions. How does brain drain affect countries? Why does brain drain affect countries? How does brain drain affect developed versus undeveloped countries? Hypothesis. Based upon the research question, the literature review of the following hypothesis was tested. Education, economy, whether there is an intention to stay in the country once received their education, if it is a developing or developed country, directly related effect of brain drain in countries. I will adopt a survey for methodology section and will use questionnaires to collect data on brain drain. The theoretical concept will be organizationalized and measured using information derived from the Kwok and Leland survey. The population that this study will be comprised of was 50 undergrad students and five faculty and staff from a historical black university. Participants in this survey vary from different cultures and countries. Each participant was sent a survey through Bethune-Cookman University email. The questionnaire developed for this study was consisted of 10 questions. The first four questions specified the specific culture background as well as their parents. The next five questions consisted of their parents' education background and if they stayed in their native land after receiving their education and do the participant plan on doing the same. The last question was if anyone in their family owned a business. The participants were requested to select from the given choices. The completed questionnaire can be found in the appendix. The survey will be used to analyze the data and information as well as tested hypothesis Findings, 50 students and faculties at HBCU was surveyed. A total of 15 usable questionnaires were obtained. The results of the survey showed relationship between education, location, economy, migration, and background. This supported a multidimensional Kwok and Leland. 
The hypothesis tested supported this research. Analysis. The survey procedure performed to ensure accuracy during the collection of data coding and entry was very precise. An unbiased survey was sent to 50 students and faculties at an HBCU. The survey was completely anonymous and the responses could not be traced back to the participant to prevent biased results. The results were calculated by a web-based survey solution, trusted by millions called SurveyMonkey. The web-based survey was used to ensure accuracy of the data collected. Questionnaires was used to show evidence of brain drain participants who left their countries and never returned. Participants who left their countries do not plan on returning to their native land, showing evidence of brain drain for the country they left. 15 out of 50 surveys were usable due to 35 participants not participating in the questionnaire. Thus, missing data does not affect the results of the questionnaire Results from the questionnaire can be found in the research appendix. Limitations. This research topic does have limitations because developing countries do not document as many documents as a developed country would. Even though there isn't as many recorded documents in developing countries, migration, economy, and education data collected can provide an adequate conclusion. Another limitation would be is the study associated to the data collection method. A survey was used to collect data, but the data collected relies on the answers of the participant of the survey. Thus, there are many limitations to this study. This study is a theory. One thing can be concluded to gain from this study is that brain drain does have an effect on countries. Recommendations. The results of this study provides information on how brain drain affect countries. Based on the results of this study, there should be an exploration of ways a country can keep the highly skilled and knowledge from leaving their native land, as well find ways to get individuals to return to their home countries. Conclusion The purpose of this research paper is to explain how does brain drain affect countries. It was found that brain drain affects the economy of the country, whether it is for the good or bad. Brain drain is higher in developing countries than developed countries. Also, brain drain can affect another country for the better. Now that we all know as brain gain, whether it is for the better or worse, we can conclude from this research that brain drain does have an effect on countries. And these were the references used for this research.